welcome back to the studio i am sukhmani and we are in the midst of making this huge art piece but before you guys go in make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you guys just saw me clean this whole board and set up the area a little back story to this art print so this has been at our house for like a very long time and clearly it has been through a lot i mean the washed away color and the damaged surface i know it isn't ideal to paint over this kind of surface but the board was clearly going in the bin and i just wanted to paint over it and make something epic you guys saw this board is a little too big i mean it's even bigger than the huge ass table that i have in my studio so um, i struggled like for the most part but i decided to take you guys along with me through the whole process so the first step to tackle such a huge artwork was to sketch out how i want this artwork to look like also i really wanted to include these peacocks in the print onto my artwork in some way so i just started with like a rough outline of how uh i can make a composition to include the peacocks either i want to include like all of them or just some of them or just one of them it was all on that so this these weren't like uh polished sketches but just like rough plan of the composition and the colors that i could use to enhance that peacocks that i'm thinking of including in the painting so after a few trials i decided to go with this composition uh of just including one peacock because i just wanted to generate some focus but i still think like the background is a little too much but i'm going to decide that when i get to the background i'm just going to start with the painting right now so i started by leveling the painting and going over the damage with the modeling paste i made myself and i'm also going to add like a few feathers and some texture to the peacock that we are keeping because i want it like to have a different feel than the whole painting now i had to tackle with the idea of the background and i decided that by making a few swatches on the painting itself earlier i wanted a little like splendid background but uh, i am a little skeptical about that because i don't want to take away from the whole fluid art thing and the peacock itself because we want to generate some focus and movement in the painting so i decided to go with the solid background and i think the color black works best for this and that's what we went with
So now with a solid black background and a clear positioning of where I want the peacock to be, I had to tackle with the idea of how the fluid art is going to play in this because I also had to cover like this huge damaged part that we fixed in the beginning because it's not the same level as the paper and you know all that shit. We are far from completing this project so in the next video that i'm going to upload we are going to go for the peacock and make a bunch of stuff it's going to be a whole lot of work and i'm gonna be using stuff that i haven't done before and it's gonna be fun i am a little nervous about how this is going to turn out i split this painting into two parts because i just wanted to take you guys along with me through the whole process because I spent a lot of time doing this as you guys saw also the next video is 
going to be twice as hard because that is something that I haven't done before. The peacock in the next video is going to be amazing and I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. See you in the next video.